Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about Ecamm Live. I'm going to walk you through all of the different windows that Ecamm Live presents so that you can understand how to use this software. Now you've got the GoBack Studio, you have the software installed and you're wondering what all of these windows mean. Well let me show you. Number one we have the main window. This is the video window and you'll see which camera is selected and as that camera is selected, you will see all of the different controls on the main window. Uh, depending on what selection you have for stream, record, or virtual cam, you will see different options down below. Now, because I have stream option enabled, I have a new button here. But if I was to turn off the stream button, I only, I'll only have the record button shown. And if I turn off record also, I'm then only using using this as a virtual camera. If I turn off that also, again, nothing, All the only thing that's happening is that you're looking at yourself in the video. So let's enable the main simple feature that I like to do, stream and record. Under stream and record features, you'll have the new button, you'll have a preview mode down here, and everything else that you see here. Now let me walk you through these icons on the right hand side. This first one shows us the switcher window which is down here. This shows you all of the different cameras that are connected to your computer, connected to your go box, and you can switch between the different cameras. So I have multiple cameras selected here. If I were to change, boom, I have different options coming through. I can switch back and forth between those two cameras. If I have a guest coming in, I can also click on this icon, and that's the guest window. Now, clicking on one of these boxes down here will switch the entire camera view to that camera. Whereas adding, clicking on this plus icon on this switcher window will add that person side by side. And you have the option to adding multiple cameras or multiple people in the same shot. Let's go ahead and remove that. All right, so next thing that we have is we have the interview mode window. Now, you either have this enabled or disabled depending on if this is the first time that you're setting up. This probably mode was probably turned on. So let me show you what that looks like. This is what the off mode looks like. And you will simply have this window pop up and sitting around. And you'll notice that the guest option has also disappeared. Let me go ahead and turn this on. And when I do, I'm provided with a brand new link here and the ability to share this link to my guest so that I can bring them in the show. The other window you'll notice is the comments window. So we went to the switcher. We have the interview mode. We have the comments window right here. So this is the comments window. And in here, you'll see comments coming in from Facebook, Instagram, or other platforms, and you can then simply show them on the screen here. The next one above is the sound, and these are the different audio tracks that you can play back um, while you're on the live stream. Right, so all of these things can be loaded. You can add additional audio files in there as well. The next one up is right here. Let's look at the camera controls. Now these are the camera effects. I have multiple cameras enabled and I can apply effects to cameras that are not on my computer also. For example, the Super iPhone Max camera, which is on my phone. I can collect, select that and change effects on it as well. And I can also look at these other cameras. So what are these camera effects? I can enable zoom and pan. So if I wanted to zoom in a little bit, again, this is a digital zoom and not a optical zoom. So the quality might degrade depending on how clean your thing is coming up. And then you also have picture settings where you can change the brightness, uh, temperature, cooler or warmer. You can change the tint of your video. Again, my camera settings are within the camera so I can leave that alone. I can also select a LUT file, a light file. Of course, I don't have any LUT files available, so I'm just going to cancel that. All right, next up is mirroring options. So you can mirror it for yourself. 
I'm not sure if it's rotating and recording it that way as well. You can also change into black and white, sepia tone, blur effect if you wanted to add a blur into the entire image, you could also do that. Then you have the deinterlace option. This is if you want to reduce the video that's going forward or exporting. And then you can also, of course, rotate the camera so that you have a tall video or a short video. Or if you have the camera on the side and you're using a different camera, you can do all of those fun things with this settings. And then you can also apply to all scenes, meaning all the scenes that this camera is located. I want to apply all of these same settings. You can do that if you want to play around with that. All right, let's move on to the next option, which is our microphone controls or our sound levels. So I have the main microphone coming in over here. I have movie sound and sound effects sounds, as well as the interview. So this is the audio coming in from any person coming in um, through the interview mode. These are the sound effects. How loud do you all want the sound effects to play? I still have to turn the volume down and I can control the volume of how loud it goes out over the wire or when it's getting recorded. Movie sound is if you have a movie playing, you can um, control the sound of the movie. Some of the most important ones are down here. We have the overlays and then we have the scene control window, show scenes window. So these are all of the scenes that we have that I've collected and created. And then these are all the overlays. For example, if I were to unshow that one, unhide that one, now I have a little GoBuck Studio overlay. I can also hide and show other little items over here, which are little overlays and reminders for people to go and follow you. And so it's a Facebook or Twitter, and I can change these uh, text over here simply by double clicking. Okay, so you have the scenes, then you have the overlays. Each scene has its own overlays, but there's something that you'll notice in the overlays window uh, or panel that says, hey, show only in the background show only in the current scene and showing all of the scenes. So all of my call to actions and all of my things that I want to show for every scene, no matter which scene I am in, I'm going to place, place in this top section and anything that's specific to this scene, I'm going to place it in this uh, section. So for example, I have a guest side by side option over here. And in this one, I have this lower third for two people. Let me go ahead and turn off the call to action. That one. So this two people mean I can simply add another person, have the two names, and that's how this part is set up. So again, that's how the overlays kind of feature works. So if I were to go back to my main sequence scene, or if I can go to my full screen view, that is what I see. So I can control what scenes I'm in and then in that scene, what item I want to additionally show. For example, in here, I want to show the host name for the full screen. And that's, those are the basics of Ecamm Live. Hope that you learned a little more on how to use Ecamm Live. Let's take a look at the top menu options that we have. These are all of the different windows that are available. You also have a bandwidth status. So if you are going to be streaming, this can tell you how your bandwidth status is looking. You also have other options. For example, stream size gives you the option to switch between low, standard high, really high, and 4K. Uh, you have the stream shape from extra wide to wide and all the other sizes. And then you have picture in picture shapes. So if you have a, so for example, if I were to enable this feature, it's going to show me another video over here, for example. If I go here and I have a picture in picture option, and I can go between. So, again, my first recommendation is play around, take a look around all of these items to see what makes sense for you and how you'd be using this. This gear icon will take you directly to the preferences, and you can go through the different tabs to see what is what. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about Ecamm Live. 
and we'll catch you in the next video.